Hey, what's up, you amazing hackers? I hope you're all doing well today. Welcome back to the channel. And I'm sorry, but you will have to join me outside today because it's hot as balls. I am sweating my ass off, but I wanted to teach you a little bit of JavaScript anyway. So in screen, on your screen right now, you should be seeing a little bit of JavaScript code, which has some vulnerabilities. We'll go over them. But first of all, we need to go over things like Express, which is going to be imported. This is an import this require. And then we say the variable app equals Express. So we open a new instance of Express. Then we're going to say for the body parser, we're going to import a body parser plugin and we will use that. We say app dot use so we call a method on app called body and then in the parameters we enter the body parser dot json next up we have dummy databases now these dummy databases right here you can already see that the password isn't even encrypted and we also have user secrets again nothing here is encrypted so that's a problem but it's also directly in the javascript files you will never really find this but if you do you know that it's probably a problem when we talk about hidden api keys i've talked about these before these are really important to realize do i talk to an a public API here or am I talking to a private API this really matters on that point when we talk about the login route here we can see that that API key is required but once again that API key is just in plain sight so that's not a big problem if we then say that the API key is invalid, so we check if API key is not the same as the hidden API key. API key is what we got from those headers. We can see that username and password are gotten from the body. And then we're going to enter a for loop. Now a for loop, in case you don't know, it's going to keep on looping until the condition here is met. It starts with an initial condition, variable i equals zero. And yes, you can define your variables in here already. That's no problem. You don't have to define them outside. i is smaller than users dot length so it's going to go through all of the users and while i is smaller than that it's going to increase by one and continue now what you need to know is that that increase happens after so this if is going to get executed and then the increase to i happens then i becomes one and one is no longer smaller than the users dot length which is also one which is going to go out of this loop now while in this loop it's going to check if the username and password are the same of that specific user user on i does the user on this i am starting to talk in dutch here to you guys the user on i is basically the one that we are currently looping through and we want their username and their password so a variable a property not a method at all in this case next we're going to say here res.send so response.send login successful your secret is and then the secret just gets exposed like that that is of course a problem but it's not something you can really use in bug bounties in pen testing of course you really need to lay that out on the hidden route right here, we have a route that's not available through normal use of the application. And here it's really important to always look for those hidden routes, for those hidden parameters. Always look for things that you normally aren't supposed to be able to see, hidden API keys, etc. Now here we have a search query, but we can already see. So first of all, we enter this property the the query itself into a variable and then we build up the page itself and then we see here an html with a body and a results page which we're going to insert our query into that is a big problem of course it can lead to direct xss and this isn't a direct tom sync i'm sorry i should have noted this differently but you can also sometimes find dom syncs to know what they are there are different ones in javascript in jquery look them up Go look at my XSS videos. They're also pretty interesting if I say so myself. And then we have the server set up. Nothing really vulnerable in here since the server needs, to, well, this sets up a server at your local 
IP address, of course. So it's information about the backend information disclosure, which never happen, of course. But in essence, this isn't vulnerable in and of itself. This can help you with your further explorations, though. I hope you enjoyed, my friends. If you want to.